In this video, I'll be walking you through using our Pattern Fill Gradient Pack to add a punch of color to the captions included in our Simple Sentiments Cards SVG bundle. So here we are in Cricut Design Space. We're going to start a new project. And the first thing we're going to do is bring in one of our captions. Okay, so we're going to go into Upload. And I'm going to hit Upload Image. And I have one of our caption packs opened up here. And let's see here, we're gonna select, we're gonna select just a note. And we're gonna drag and drop it. This is the SVG version. Now this is only gonna work with the SVG version. It will not work with the ping version. Okay, so that's all you need to know. And we'll hit continue and upload. Okay, it'll come in automatically sized for you. Okay, so as you can see here, the caption is pretty standard, just black on white. Now what we need to do is upload or bring in our gradients. So we're going to go back to upload, and this time we're going to select pattern fill. And we're going to click upload pattern, and we're going to drag and drop one of these five gradients. I'm going to grab this one here and just drag and drop it. And there it is, we're going to hit upload. Okay, and almost done. We're gonna hit cancel, go back to the mat. I'm gonna go over here to layers and expand this layer here. You can see that this is the card base and this is the actual caption. It is an SVG file. And what we can do is go over here under operation. We need to change this to print and cut first. Okay, and then we're gonna click on the fill color here, which is black, and we're gonna change that to pattern. Okay, now that we've uploaded that gradient, it'll show up here. Now I have a few others that I've uploaded already just to kind of test them out. But we're gonna click on this one. This is the most recent one that we uploaded. Now watch what happens. Okay, so you can see here, let's zoom in, how lovely that is. Now another thing we can do is we can click on Edit Pattern and we can change the scale of this. And as we do that, you can see it almost like creates this magical experience with that text. And the more you scale it, and the more you flip it around, you can really get some different um, outcomes depending on how you modify things. And you can simply rotate it a little bit if you want the color to move. But I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna go back in here. I'm gonna change this to one of the other gradients just to kind of show you what you can do with this. And I'll actually take a picture of the end result. It looks really nice. This is it's probably one of my favorites here. Okay, so once we have that, and you can see the difference, it's beautiful. All we're gonna do is just make sure that we highlight this and flatten it. And then we can click Make. You don't need to save it. And you're ready to print and cut. And this is what the end result looks like. Now you can obviously use those gradients for pretty much anything, any shape for that matter. So even if we took a basic circle, if we go here under operation, change it to print then cut, click on the fill color, change it to pattern, we can also turn that into a gradient. So these gradients that we're offering for free on our website can be used on any element, okay? But this is a great way to add a splash of color to the little inserts that we're including with our latest set of cards. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos and please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where you'll find over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly tutorials. I'll see you in the craft room.